Pepe is crashing once again, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we're going to be going over a bullish thesis as to why Pepe could still go to the billions. And yes, that is billions with a B. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Crypto RJ. Let's take a look at Pepe, okay? So Pepe is currently down about 13% on the day. Not looking too good. It's actually, you know, looking pretty shit. <laughs> uh, in the past week, however, we're still up 32%, guys. And remember, we were up at $70 million market cap earlier, uh, literally, like, what, yesterday or two days ago? Uh, and in the past month, guys, we've more or less just done a terrible U-shaped recovery or a very wonky U-shaped recovery. In the past year, obviously, guys, we are still up 300%. Now, um, a reason as to the market pumping, holy crap, guys, we are at 89,000 Bitcoin. Uh, probably going to see 90,000, like we might actually see it like right now, which is insane. Uh, it's so funny, every time I make these videos and I look at Bitcoin, like we form a new all-time high and it just gets me really like, mm, you know? Um, but with that being said, guys, Bitcoin 90K, that'd be insane. But that's basically why everything's pumping right now. And yes, Pepe is um, having a retracement, but I want to share this with you guys. So why Pepe could be the next big meme coin as China reopens to crypto. So one massive market potential. China's vast population and growing interest in digital assets could bring a wave of new investors into the market once crypto is unbanned. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> the next thing is the cultural appeal. So Pepe is the Chinese version of Pepe. Uh, Ni hao. And this taps into the global meme coin trend with a unique twist that resonates locally. Pretty cool. Now, there's also the meme coin hype, right? So with limited exposure to popular meme coins, Chinese investors may be eager for their own relatable version, which makes sense, right? Because that could be the meme coin of the Asian uh, market. I'm not exactly sure how like China and like, I don't know what the ban really means. Like, does that mean you can't use wallets? Does that mean you can't use MetaMask? Uh, I'm not exactly sure because obviously China is a communist country. Uh, so I'm sure they have like very strict rules and whatever. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, interesting to see what actually happens there. Next is tech friendly policies. So China, China's openness to blockchain tech, right? So they seem to really be uh, liking the blockchain right now. And guys, speaking of the blockchain, right? Right now, the Pepe blockchain is exploding, right? They've raised over $27 million. If you guys are not in the Pepe blockchain, you are slacking, right? If you're in the Chinese Pepe and you don't have any of the Pepe blockchain, <coughs> the Pepu tokens, right? The Pepu token, guys, is going to power the biggest meme coin blockchain, in my opinion. Now, I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link to this down below so you guys can actually go ahead and ape into this because I know a lot of people are going to want to make sure you don't miss out. Uh, you guys can go ahead and get this. It's literally a blockchain and the Pepu token powers it. You can buy this with the link down below. Use ETH, Tether, a credit card, or BNB. Uh, massive, massive project, guys. In fact, I'm actually going to make a whole dedicated video to the Pepe blockchain that will literally be out in a couple of minutes after this one. So make sure you guys stay, uh, stay tuned for that as well. Uh, but guys, Overall, Pepe could skyrocket, right? Combining cultural relevance, uh, China's huge market and the meme coin boom, big potential. And guys, I'm actually curious, did, did Bitcoin hit um 90K? Did we hit it? No, not yet. But bro, uh, we're gonna probably hit 90K is insane, by the way. Now, uh, punting some Pepe here. Extremely good Pepe beta, right? Six months of consolidation with no new lows. And yeah, we've been ranging in that mark for about a couple of months now. Uh, strong Chinese community with a unique Pepe angle billions must buy and guys i do think that pepe could actually continue to soar uh, i keep looking at bitcoin guys i'm just so excited uh, but i do think we can continue to store now big hutch tweets this <coughs> um I personally think the United States will give China no option to loosen its regulatory restrictions on crypto. It may take time to play out. Wouldn't surprise me if there's a crypto battle between countries leading into Q1 slash Q2 of 2025. Exciting times for Pepe indeed. And then finally, guys, Pepe, the next plan. Think consolidation phase is almost over for both Pepe and Pepe. Uh, there will be a Chinese meta slash season soon, and Pepe going to lead that attention all the way as Red Frog Chinese Pepe. It's also just crossed over 44,000 holders today. Massive news, guys. I am not going to lie. Uh, and Bitcoin is not at 90k. We're actually going to hit 88k. But listen, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe down below. And like I said, guys, I'll leave the link to Pepe Blockchain Pepu on uh, the description down below, uh, and I'll have a video coming out in literally a couple of minutes. So, Guys, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.